Welcome to No BS TS 24. And in this one, we are going to do generic React components. I'm really excited about this. It kind of fuses the beginning part of No BS TS, where we went over the basics of TypeScript, including generics, and then this section on React and kind of brings that together in a really cool way and gives you a lot more power in your React toolkit. So in this one, we are going to create a generic list. Let's take a look at it right now. Okay, so here's our app as it stands, and we've got a set of to-do items in here. We're gonna render them inside a UL and then uh, have each one be an LI, but we wanna do that in a way where we pass it the to-do and then get back hinting for the render and the list and the click props if we wanna put a click on there. Okay, so let's, uh, let's start this off. So the first thing we're gonna do is I'm gonna create that uh, component as a function this time, not, you know, not using const. So let's see, function UL. This is gonna be our, our component wrapper of UL. And we'll just make it like that. There we go, okay, cool, all right. And so the first thing we're gonna want in there is the uh, list of items. And so that is going to be a, an array of T. Just like that. So we know how to do this. This is basic generic stuff, right? So what we want to do in here is then uh, return a UL where we go through each one of the items. So with an item and an index, we will then render an LI with that item in it. But well, we want to kind of use a render prop for that. So I'm going to do render and then give it the item. And this one is going to be a key with, in, uh, with the index. Just make sure that that's all good to go. Get rid of the maps, it's not a maps, it's a map. Okay, so what is render like? Well, render is a prop. And it's going to be a function that takes an item defined as T and returns a React React node, just like that. Okay, cool. So that's looking pretty good so far. Let's actually give it a try. So UL, and we'll put that in here. And we'll give it the items as to-dos. And we'll see how render shows up. Render, and oh, look at that, cool. We've got our generic behavior already in there. So cool, all we need to do at this point is, well, we have the LI, so we'll take the to-do, and then we'll just basically bring in the to-do text and the button. We'll make that a fragment. Awesome, cool. And let's try that down, let's get rid of that down there and see how it does. All right, looking pretty great already. Okay, so one of the things I wanna do is show how to extend this so that you've got the original detailed HTML props that we saw in the previous example around uh, when you wrap a component like this, like a UL tag, you wanna bring in stuff like class name, ARIA labels, whatever else you've got in there, you want those props to be on that as well. So you want those props and you want our new props. So to get the properties for a UL, I'm gonna go over here to react.detailedHTML props, bring that in here, and add that onto it. Of course, that's gonna be for button, and we don't want button, so let's go back over to our page and scroll down and find where UL is. Cool, there we go. Call the HTML ULIST element, cool. So let's just do that. Nice, okay. So now we can go over here and add on things like class name, that's fine, that'll go in there as well. Wanna add that. Uh, so it basically extends all of those properties. Now if you had children as well, the way that you do that is you would go and do React props with children and then make that a generic as well. 
And that would add on the ability to grab the uh, children field and have it properly typed as well. So we don't need that in this case since we're not actually doing anything with children in this one. But let me go and also add on how to do like a generic list click as well so we can get the typing through on there. So we'll do item click. And we'll say that item click is gonna take an item. And it's just we're gonna turn a void, that's fine. And then at that point, we can go over here and add that to our on click. And then just pass it on the item, just like that. And let's uh, go check on that over here. So item click. And we'll say, oops, we'll take an item and we'll do alert item ID. Look at that, it's got hinting on it. That's great. That's because it knows that it's a to-do item. Awesome. All right, let's go back over here. And if I click on that, then I get an alert. That's awesome. If I click on the remove, do I also get an alert? I do. <laughs> okay, well, so we're getting some event propagation in there and that's fine. And you can deal with that with the usual kind of event stop propagation and event prevent default. That's all in there. All right, so we've seen some pretty cool stuff in this one. We actually have a generic component. And I've seen this in a bunch of different DSL frameworks out there where you've, you're dealing with lists to get really good hinting around render props like this, as well as callbacks. So really nice stuff. Can't wait for you to try it out and let me know how you go. Of course, in the meantime, if you like this video, feel free to hit that like button. If you really like the video, hit the subscribe button, click on that bell, and you'll be notified the next time a new no BSTS video arrives.